evening from the studio. Now listen, here's the thing. We are facing the biggest catastrophe of our lives. And some of my viewers have asked me, why do you keep changing your opinion on what's going to happen in this situation? And in actuality, I'm not changing my opinion. First off, you have to understand that there's three parts or maybe four parts to what I've been saying all along that I'm not changing my opinion on whatsoever. And first off, that we're heading toward a hyperinflation. Number two, cryptocurrency. When the hyperinflation starts, begins, cryptocurrency is really going to take off big. Gold and silver are really going to take off big when the hyperinflation starts. Now, where my opinion differs a little bit is, and where I, I, I don't really know exactly which direction it's going to go is, there could be a big deflation coming before the hyperinflation begins. And why I say could is it's not written in stone that it has to happen this way. Uh, the big deflation is dependent on the Fed and what the Fed does. Now, it's looking like the Fed is going to trigger this big deflation. Now, in fact, everything depends on what the Fed does because the Fed are the ones who actually orchestrated this whole Ponzi scheme to begin with in the fiat paper currencies. 1971, we come off the gold standard and the dollar was pegged to oil. Now, not by our own liking because we've supported the petrodollar through military action, but through the... Uh, other forces, the forces coming from the east, the Chinese, the Russians, they're eroding the petrodollar and its dominance. Uh, one of the big things is the fact that they are inventing uh, uh, new missiles and stuff that make the uh, that make the carriers, the aircraft carriers, more superfluous so that they, they can't operate as well as they used to and as effectively as they used to at controlling companies that tried to leave, countries, I should say, that try to leave the petrodollar standard behind. It used to be the United States, when a country decided they were going to leave the petrodollar and sell oil and anything but dollars, the United States would come in and pound them to dust with the aircraft carriers. Now it's getting a little bit harder to do that because... There is secondary missile systems that can take out an, an aircraft carrier. And don't you think they don't know that, so they have to stay further offshore. Now, here's a thing. My viewers out there are absolutely wonderful. They realize what I'm doing. I'm out there every single day scouring the news. I'm out there every single day investigating and watching and seeing how this thing is unfolding and trying to relate it to you guys. Now, I'm going to tell you what. If I were to follow a rigid theme and say, hey, you know what? I'm just going to sit here and keep spouting off the same thing day after day, month after month, and not change my opinion as to how this thing is unfolding, I wouldn't be doing my job properly for you guys. The fact that I'm out here and I actually do actually change my opinion a little bit here and a little bit there as to how this thing is unfolding shows that I'm taking in information, information, I'm processing that information, and I'm spotting the trends ahead of time, the trends that are developing. These trends are just what I said. They are developing. It's not static. It's not a static situation. So my forecasts cannot remain static. They have to follow the trends that are developing. And so in doing so, I'm doing my job properly if what I say next month is not quite the same as it is this month because I'm following it as it's going along and I'm reporting to you. It's almost like a basketball game. You'll have the guy up in the stands and he's doing the reporting and he's following the game as the game is going along. If the guy makes a basket, he reports on it. You know, and what he's doing is, is he's following the game as it's going along. And what I'm doing is I'm following this, this situation as the situation is unfolding, and I'm spotting the trends for you guys ahead of time. I'm out there. I'm looking for the trends as they develop, and I'm spotting them, 
and I'm getting them on here as part of the news. Now, why my channel is called Financial Turmoil Explained is, is the financial part is already here. It's upon us. But the turmoil part hasn't started yet. It's coming, boys. It's coming. And when it comes, there's going to be an awful lot of people that are going to be waking up. Now, you guys that have been watching my channel, you're wonderful. You come from every part of the country, every part of America. Uh, some of you are farmers, absolute salt of the earth, hardworking people out there. Gosh, I work. I wish I could jump right in with you and work right hard uh, uh, doing hard physical labor, but uh, my back is shot. I got... Uh, uh, I forget what the name of it is, something, something discs or whatever, you know, and uh, my discs are all corroded. Uh, but I can do my job too. My job is keeping you guys informed here. And like I say, you guys are the salt of the earth. You come from many different districts of America. You work hard for your money. Wonderful people people that are on my channel, the people that are supporting my channel, the people that come and view my uh, my videos daily. Uh, you need to find a way to get ahead. You need to see this situation coming. You need to put your silver away for yourselves. And, and, I, uh, uh, and when this situation strikes and your cryptos and silvers and golds all go up and, uh, and, and, uh, and, uh, all the, all these other things go down and you're successful at putting food on the table, I'll be thankful because I've done my job. You know? And I try to listen to every one of you guys' comments. I re try to read every comment. It's uh, As the channel's growing, it's starting to get more and more difficult. <laughs> it was easier at first. <laughs> uh, I have a couple other channels too. Uh, I got a food, new food channel, you know, and I got my pop on there, me and pop. And uh, we do food reports, and I'm telling you, he's just loving that channel. <laughs> it's uh, it's called Woodshop Monk, no Woodshop uh, XXX Monk, uh, and it's uh, it's well, I can put a link in the description, and uh, I also have another channel called the Del Delta Report, where I where I keep up with all the world news and daily events that's going on, and I talk about them. Uh, you know, I talk about what my take is on stuff. Anyway, it's a hard job, keeps me really busy, but I like to stay busy. I like to stay busy for you guys. You guys are the greatest. Thank you for all your support. Really means a lot to me. And bye-bye for now.